I believe in the unadulterated word of love for this whole world. Sometimes, very rarely, something incredible happens. What happens, the word of God, prophecy, comes along and smacks you in the face. And to my knowledge, it has only happened twice in all of history. Uh, once was with uh, Alexander the Great. Nathan the prophet, it is written in the book of Jewish antiquities, took Alexander to the Old Testament and said, look, here you are. It is foretold you are this king of uh, Macedonia. And guess what, Alexander? You're going to be unbeatable. And guess what happened? He believed it. And he did things that he otherwise never would have done had he not had faith and confidence in that prophet. And it came to pass 30 years ago, I was taken to the Bible. And I was taken to Isaiah 49, 4, that said, and one with a very sharp tongue would come forth and do everything in vain. And that changed my life because I knew that I had asked because it is written of things to come in Isaiah 45 concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hands. The Lord God says, command ye me. And I demanded to know. I wanted to stop and smell the flower of prophecy. I wanted to uh, get on with understanding what was happening in this world. So of things to come concerning the future, I commanded the Lord, and I wanted a sign. I wanted the ground wet, the fleece dry, and something like Gideon's miracle. And next thing I knew, I was writing by one candlestick that was not plugged in for seven minutes while I wrote to the man who had showed me. He said, here you are, Dan. You are in the Bible right there. You are the one who will do everything in vain. And then I wrote 20 years because the Lord gave me open-eyed vision. And I wrote... Uh, 20 years, the everlasting gospel. I wrote The Flying Squirrel, which I have been producing. Uh, I have 8,000 videos, and I just started, trust me. Uh, uh, and the truth is, uh, I, I wasted all of my time in vain. The world has disowned me. They have tuned me out. They consider me a false prophet when I have fulfilled all the Elijah prophecy. And uh, they, they don't even believe what's happening. Well, they better damn well believe this. The king of the north of Daniel 11 is Vladimir Putin, and he has walked all over and invaded the king of the south, exactly as Daniel 11. And they better believe that this vision is for a time, time, and a half a time, as it says of this vision in those chapters 11 and 12. These are those days, days of the latter-day Daniel, who I am, who has embraced my destiny as the Elijah of this world, the Shiloh, alcoholic of Genesis 49:12 whose eyes are red and dull of wine. And uh, the alcoholic, uh, my soul might not be upright, and neither might of Gregory Rasputin's, but the just better live by our faith, otherwise this earth will be destroyed, unless these days are cut short by the prophetic word of God, by prophecy, and Rasputin will cut Russia in two, because he predicts nothing but death for Putin. And he says that the, the cat of abomination would change the rats. The rats will transform into mice, and the mice will eat the cat. If this psychological weapon does not get out there to Russia, it is because I've got a bunch of do-nothing uh, people that won't even leave me a comment. They're unfriendly. They're un, uh, they must have no brains, or else they would have figured out uh, uh, 8,000 videos ago that I'm preaching nothing but truth. And their truth, it offends them because my truth is different than their truth. My truth is connected by all prophecy, connecting together. Israel is Chrislam. That's their new name. Isaiah 62, 2, foretold that. Uh, they have inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3. And the name of Jesus has now been cast down. Every knee will now bow unto that false god of Putin. I, says the Lord God, my name is love. That is my name that was named 40 years after my coming and going, says the Lord Christ Jesus Almighty, our carpenter of the ages. That is the name love to which every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. Distortional God Jesus forgives everything of people. 
but not unlovingness. That is the unforgivable sin, says the Lord. So the true Jesus, whose name is love, cannot forgive that man who is committing unforgivable sin of letting his love light go out. So the name of love is exalted because the name of Jesus only came in the 17th century and it was just written by a scribe uh, that translated the name Yeshua and Yahweh into Jesus and Jehovah. There was no prophet. There was no prophet that named Jesus Jesus. Jesus never heard the name of Jesus. Muhammad never heard the name of Jesus. And most people in the world since the beginning of time have never heard, uh, far more people have never heard the name of Jesus. Uh, but all people have looked at God at one time or another and felt, you must be loved. And they were right. And if people don't get over their bad religiosity, and if they don't um, push these videos out here because of the Rasputin prophecy that spells out their utter doom, and I've gathered all biblical prophecies showing the same thing, at the end of the day there will be nothing but death and destruction. If you people do not get these messages out there as a weapon against uh, Russian, uh, Russian mentality of arrogance and pride, uh, and they must run away from their leader. Uh, that guy is an SMM character, if ever there has been. And I know by the spirit of prophecy, he has squirreled away over a billion dollars. That's the number that's ringing in my head. And I don't know how he did it, but he is an absolute dictator. And he's known where to hide stuff. He's not squirming too much, but he'll see his people squirming around us as dying little wormies. He's the snake. I'll suck them up uh, like spaghetti. So people, you better reconsider this so-called false prophet because me and Rasputin are the only ones that can save this earth by deflating the Russians with a spiritual weapon that's far sharper than any razor blade has ever been. They know how accurate he was.